Hi everyone! Hi! Um, I'm Natasha Blinsky. I'm from Rotary District 7010 and I'm going to Taiwan either Rotary 4800 or 5000. Uh, I haven't accepted or been given my guarantee form yet so I don't know exactly but I will, I will tell you all as soon as possible. I'm going to the city Taipei or Xinchu. I don't know exactly that city, the name of it. It's really difficult to say, I find. But, um, yeah, I don't know my host family yet. I don't know my host district yet. I don't know my, um, my uh, school or my city yet. Or my host family. <laughs> it's horrible. But I'm just waiting. But, um, today I'm going to talk about some Canadian stereotypes. First of all, we don't live with polar bears. I know that for sure. Uh, our second language is French, but not everyone speaks it, only in certain areas of Canada. So don't worry about that too, 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 too much. Um, oh, t Tim Hortons is not our government, our Prime Minister, okay? That's really important to know, because um, you'll be incredibly embarrassed. Uh, uh, it is cold in Canada. I'm going to be perfectly honest. In the winter, it's really, really cold. But for those countries that are come from those people that are coming from different countries from hot beaches in summer all the time, you're gonna love it because it's such a change and it's so serene, so beautiful, so peaceful. And there's so many sports you can play with the snow, so that's really nice. Um, okay, so I'm going to Taiwan. I'm extremely, extremely excited. Taiwan with my rotary it was a little different. We weren't exactly allowed to choose. We were allowed to put in suggestions of countries that we feel we would uh, be the best fit for and our biggest interest and I my biggest interest are the Asian countries because it's such a different lifestyle and my friends are all Asian <laughs> pretty much and I love Asian music K-pop for the wind no um Big Bang no um so I chose I suggested a Chinese speaking country which was Taiwan and then I asked for Thailand as my second and Japan as my third. Not that I don't have a connection to the Spanish countries, the um, the just the European countries or any other countries, but I really wanted really 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 wanted to step out of my comfort zone and go for an Asian lifestyle, Asian culture, which is so different. So I'm so excited that I got it. It's like a dream come true, honestly. Uh, so, some ways that I'm learning Chinese, uh, some suggestions I can give you guys, I don't know if it'll help at all, but um, I, around my room and around my house, I put uh, little sticky notes with the Chinese word and the English meaning around, which is really, really helping. I learned how to say bath, toilet, toilet paper, everything. So that's really, really helpful because you'll get comfortable with it. Also, I'm listening to music, watching TV, watching movies with the subti with Chinese subtitles on, talking with Chinese friends, talking to a teacher at my school that is from China, who she's helping me with. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Um, I have a thing on my computer, a translator, where I can highlight the word, and it'll say the Chinese meaning, how to pronounce it. And um, it's kind of like a dictionary. It'll give me words and stuff, so it's really helpful. I don't have that on my laptop yet, which I have to get, uh, but only on my home computer. Okay, some things I'm extremely excited for. Um, I'm excited to visit a few places. Ximending, Tainan, Loktesu, and Miali. Uh, and some things I'm really excited to do are karaoke. Oh my gosh! So excited. So excited. Uh, 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 go shopping. Uh, go to uh, markets. Uh, Jerry. Uh, I really want to celebrate Chinese New Year. I want to just meet all the friends that I've made, not even just the Taiwanese people, the international friends that I've made because we've all made a connection. We're each other's support team, we're a family, you know, jumping. Um, we're, I want and I hope that all of us are really, really close and that we can lean on each other for when it's really, really difficult because I'm sure there are going to be times where it's really hard, but it's nice to have that. Uh, and I feel like we'll all succeed with that. Um, I'm really excited to find out my school, my district, my city, uh, my host families. I'm so excited. It's going to hit me when that happens. I'm going to cry. I will actually cry. <laughs> but, um, what else? Um, oh, yeah. Uh, so I just want to wish everyone the best of luck with their countries. Honestly, it's really difficult learning the language and 
even though we live in our countries trying to adapt to that lifestyle any way that we possibly can, it's really difficult and sometimes boring. But um, stay motivated, guys, honestly. Because if we learn it and we go to our country, it's going to be so much easier being able to speak the language and be able to communicate with our friends and family. Just think of it that way. Um, yeah, and just listen to music, a lot of music from that country, because I find that music is the biggest motivator, because it's fun, you don't feel like you're learning and studying, but you're grasping new words, new vocabulary, so it's really good, so do that, it's, it's really fun. Uh, I have, oh, just one last point, I have my, orient, my last orientation uh, in Ottawa in May on May 19th, I don't speak English anymore, obviously. Uh, uh, and I have to present, well, all of us, we have to present a five-minute speech, and I just finished my, writing my speech, now I have to practice it like crazy. Uh, I'm really nervous for that, <laughs> but I'm sure it'll be good. Um, and then I get my blazer, we get to, uh, switch around pins and stuff and collect some new ones. And um, I'm just preparing a lot for my trip, and I just wish everyone the best. So message me anytime, uh, and I hope I don't annoy you if I message you too. So good luck, everyone. Well, I need them. Ciao, Bye. Kisses.